<laughs> hey boo, it's your big sis Chris, who is also now Coach Chris to the YouTube world. <laughs> I'm doing this one for my students. I have had a lot of questions regarding SoFedge and regarding flashcards. SoFedge is just one of the ways that I use and help my students to strengthen their ear. And so if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe down below. Everything that goes on with me is a part of you. And now that includes my teaching. <laughs> Also, if you're ever interested in piano lessons or singing lessons, songwriting, ear training theory, anything like that, I'm definitely your girl to help you out. Make sure to connect with me at christhecourtmusic at gmail.com if you ever wanna email me, or if you ever just want some inspiration to keep you motivated, you can follow the Chris Court Music Instagram page and Facebook page. Now, why on earth is ear training so important? I mean, I shouldn't have to explain this, but I'm going to just in case, because how many times, let's just all remember, let's go back into memory banks. How many times have you ever heard somebody singing or they were playing something on the piano and it just didn't sound right? Something was just off. And maybe that was you. Maybe you were playing and you were singing and you were like, something's off, but I don't know why. Your training fixes that. Yay! <laughs> and SoFedge is one of the ways to fix that. SoFedge is just the fancy name for Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do, like we hear on what movie? If you remember what movie, comment down below. I will reveal at the end of this video. But yeah, Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do. There's hand signs. Um, they do it in pre K music um, just to kind of get that thing going. Sometimes they do. Or maybe you've even used it in college when you were singing in a choir, high school choir. So it's time to get those gears going, brush off those cobwebs. But if this is totally new for you, don't worry. This is beginner friendly. So what's most important is to identify the key first. I'm gonna pick the key of A because it's a nice middle ground for my altos and my sopranos. My tenors can get up there if they want to work a little bit. <laughs> Basses, you might be in trouble. Just sing it in a lower octave, that's all. So, you start with Do, then Re, then Mi, Fa, So, and there are more. But for the beginners, I like to only go from do to so. Because what I'm going to do at some point, and it's very fun, I'm gonna show you a few hand signs. Then you're gonna pause the video, take the time, see if you can figure out the right answer, and then I will then confirm whether you were right or wrong. So it's kind of like a nice, fun soul fetch game. I love games. <laughs> Any of my students know that I turn everything to a game because it makes music and learning fun and if music isn't fun you're doing it wrong okay so here we go sing with me this time do re mi fa so excellent now you're gonna go back down so fa mi re do great not so bad right now we're going to go from do to so and right back down, all in one shot. Ready and do re mi fa so fa mi re do. Fantastic. Now I want you to do it on your own. Ready and. playing but the note that you were singing was a little bit above or a little bit below a pitch then all you got to do is take that time try to lock it in go over just that section because without being able to do that nice and smooth 
the next part's gonna be a lot more challenging. So take all the time you need, no problem. All right, now we're getting into our game. I'm going to show you three hand signs. Once I show you the three, I want you to pause the video, take the time, figure it out, and then I'll come back in a little bit and see if you got it right, all right? Here's your first three. Okay, take all the time you need. How'd you do? Let's check. It should sound like Mi, Re, Do. If you accidentally sang Mi, Re, Do, believe it or not, that's a very common problem. What you are identifying is the difference between singing ascending, meaning going up, and descending, meaning going down. If it wasn't mi, re, do, take all the time you need to make your brain understand that mi, because mi is higher than do, you should sing going downwards. If you're singing going up, then that's not exactly what we want. Let's try another one. Get that key again. Here's your next set. All right, take all the time you need. How'd you do? Let's check. It should sound like me. If you accidentally sing <laughs> mi fa so, or if you finally nailed mi but accidentally went down fa so, then that's not quite it either. But it is a common boo boo that happens. Again, it's making sure that what you hear and what you understand about the notes is connecting with what is coming out of your mouth. Excellent. Let's try one more. This is still level one. So it's going to be something that's more intuitive, nothing too crazy. Okay, last one, here's your key. Take all the time you need. All right, last one. It should sound like so me. Did you get something different? That's okay. So here's a few tips to help you with making sure you're starting on the right note. This is step one. It's always more helpful to start with do, which is why I continue to give you your key so you always know where do is. Do. Then from there, you can climb up to find the starting note that you need. So it may be Do, Re, Mi, and I have Mi now, right? Or it may be Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, right? So that's step one. Make sure you're starting on the right note. So then I have to make sure, am I going up? or am I going down? In this case, if I start on so, and I'm going in this direction even though my hand is doing this, then it's contradictory, it doesn't match, right? So you wanna go so, fa, right? And me. And then the last step to make sure that you're doing it correctly is to make sure that the steps that you're singing are equal are equidistant apart. So if I go so, but then I kind of fa right and me, it's not equidistant. So you want to make sure that the same way that you sang your soul fetch, the whole thing, you're doing exactly that when you're doing the recall for every single one. Excellent. If this was helpful to you. 
please be sure to give this a big thumbs up and share it with a friend because we are all in this together. We're all trying to grow and stay tuned for level two. I'll see you next time. Bye. So did you figure out what movie it's from yet? I know this is probably before your time, but if I sang, do a deer, a female deer, anything? Ray, a drop of golden sun. No, the young ones are like, I have no idea what that is. It's from Sound of Music. Yeah, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go watch it so that this can make a lot of sense to you. And the song is so much fun. It's gonna help you remember. <laughs>